almost as famous or perhaps infamous as the savage abilities of these Kentucky frontiersmen was the lethality of the weapons that came to bear their name, the Kentucky Long Rifle. To better understand the tactics and effectiveness of the Long Rifle, I enlisted the help of Harold Edwards, an expert on the weaponry of 1812. There's a history where these guys became so good at it. Now you got an advantage because you can hit guys from a lot longer away. Right. Well, these guys, we sometimes we talk about the rifle and its accuracy, uh, the rifle barrel and, and the, uh, the skill that these men had, but we sometimes don't realize their life was much different than what we live today. Some of these guys probably carry this rifle every day. Wow. You know, use it for hunting, use it for protection, mm -hmm. and you being a sports guy, you understand they use it for sport. So the two biggest uh, sports in Kentucky at that time was horse racing and shooting a Kentucky rifle. So it was, it was their pastime, and they became very proficient with it, very proficient. You know, the average range was probably 100 yards if you're shooting at a, tar at a man or an Indian or a British soldier or whatever. But you could get out there. These guys, they knew windage. They knew how the bullet dropped. And so they were very, very good at judging distance and wind. The British still hanging on to those Napoleonic tactics, men strung out in lines, marching in mass. And the Americans, especially at the Battle of New Orleans, behind those cotton bales, mm. they were picking them off left and right long before a musket uh, could be used. A musket range was probably about 50 yards, 50, 75 wow. yards. You could shoot a mass bunch of men with a musket probably at 100 yards, but accuracy just wasn't there. It was an old style of warfare that was dying fast, and uh, unfortunately they learned it a little bit too late. To get an idea of the power of the long rifle, Harold took me for a little demonstration. Get the women and children out of the way. Make sure you turn, Doug, you want to be balanced. Okay. You're going to get your feet spread about the width of your shoulders. That gives okay. you the best balance, okay? Okay. Do this just like you're hitting, okay? Like you when you're playing baseball. Have you ever Remember? seen me hit? Uh, yes. It was not it's pretty. Not, well, <laughs> <laughs> well, this is half cocked. All I got to do is cock it, cock it. and fire it. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'll get back. Slow, steady squeeze. I believe you hit the top of the bullseye. Dude, that was <laughs> well, cool. your first shot. I mean, what, hey, you did good. I hit right over the top. You did good. Felt good. <laughs>